What's up brothers and sisters, hope you're having a great day. We're gonna take a take two on this video because my last video, uh, it got a little intense at the end because I just got, I'm real passionate about uh, the gospel, about Jesus Christ um, and everyone knowing their freedom and their identity in Christ because it's so massively important. And I just, I hate lies. I hate manipulation. I hate people trying to preach something other than the gospel to push their own agenda. It usually comes from p pride and vanity and self-righteousness and huh, it's disgusting. Anyways, the gospel is 1 Corinthians 15, one through four, that Jesus Christ died for our sins, was buried and on the third day rose from the dead according to the scriptures. We are saved by grace through faith. The moment you believe that you are a child of God, you are indwelled by the Holy Spirit. Do not let anyone else tell you otherwise. Why? Because that would be anti the word of God. And we stand in the truth. We stand in the truth and we boast and we have our confidence in the Lord. We have our confidence in our God, who is our defender, who is our peace, our joy, our righteousness. Thank you, Jesus. We are children of God by faith, Galatians 3.26, and so many other verses. Ugh. I'm so tired of people preaching a false gospel and trying to confuse people. Uh, I believe it's in Proverbs. I don't have my Bible next to me. I believe it's in Proverbs. I'll have to look it up. It might be 28.5. Um... Or 28 6 do not add unto the do not add or take away from the Word of God for you will be shown to be a liar that's a rough paraphrase don't add to the grace of God don't add works don't mix law and grace and also don't take away from the grace of God by saying that you're not truly saved until you prove yourself or you're not truly saved until you get to a certain point in your life and then you can come to God. That is a bunch of garbage. And that is, that is putting a sour taste in so many people's mouths because that's what religion does. Religion tells you to act a certain way. Religion tells you to get to a certain point in your life, to clean yourself up, to get delivered to a certain point. To, to repent of all your sins to a certain point, to do all of these things, and then you can come to God and be saved. No, that is, that is false. That is not the gospel. That is not what Jesus Christ came to die for. That is religion. That is the traditions of men. That is garbage. That doesn't save you. What does save you is the blood of Jesus Christ and our faith in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. It's what Jesus did alone. We cannot do a single thing to get ourselves ready to be saved, to be saved, to maintain our salvation. We cannot do a single thing nor add unto the finished and complete and perfect work of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. It is only what Jesus Christ did. And God comes to us right where we're at. He meets us right, right where we are at. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. We are saved by faith. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of ourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, lest any man should boast. So then why are there people who are trying to tell you that you need to be obedient to stay saved? It's anti the word of God. Why are there people telling you that you need to clean yourself up before you can come to God? That's, that's anti the word of God. And I'm... Sorry, but not sorry. If you believe these things, you are in error. And we need to, with a humble heart, come to God and ask for the truth. The unadulterated, pure truth. Because the, the truth is, is that Jesus Christ died for our sins, was buried, and on the third day rose from the dead for our justification. And the gospel is so simple that a five-year-old could understand it. It's not complicated. It is so simple, yet it was paid at the highest price. You have been purchased by the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah.
for the blood of Jesus Christ. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. God the Son. I believe that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. I will confess it. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is King. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is my Messiah. Jesus Christ is the Messiah. He is the Christ, the Anointed One. He came to save the world for all that would believe on Him. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever should believe it on Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Okay. We're going to stop with that right there. And I want to give a channel shout out to David Benjamin in Christ. I highly recommend going to his channel and checking out his videos. So good. He reveals, he the Holy Spirit within him reveals Christ in the word. Because Christ is everything. Christ is the word. Jesus is life, yo. Check out the series that he's doing right now on Schaefer. It's a, it's a lot of foundational truths and what the death of Christ truly represented and what the resurrection of Christ truly represented. And it will expand your understanding of that, of the gospel, because the gospel according to the scriptures is much more than just seeing that, that you've been forgiven but also at the depth at which you understand you have been forgiven will change how you walk. Trust me, because it's been happening to me. I mean, you know, I've, I've been born again for um, just under two years now, and it's, it's a process of completely understanding the grace of God and how truly, we for, how truly forgiven we really are and how we have been 100% purchased. He's not, he's not keeping the gift receipt to return us. We have been purchased. We are his children, eternal security. And as we rest in the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross and we continue to keep our eyes on Christ and think on, man, just, for me, it's just a lot of, of worship, man. A lot of worship. And then, like I said, this guy, David Benjamin in Christ, illuminating the word. And it's been fantastic. If the, if the burden is put on you, it's religion. If the burden is taken off of you, it's Christ. That's, that's also biblical. Come to, come to me, all who are heavy burden, and I will give you rest. That's a rough paraphrase. But that's Jesus himself saying, Yuck, if you have a lot of burdens, come to me, I'll give you rest. My yoke is easy. My burden is light. If Jesus himself said, come because his burden is light and he'll take it from you, why then, if people are telling you that you've got to do a bunch of stuff, they're putting burdens on you. They're not giving you Christ. They're giving you a bunch of rules and, and laws that you need to obey to please God or to stay saved. But like, yo, that's, that's, not, that's not true. That's mixing law and grace. A little leaveneth leaveneth the whole lump. A little law messes up everything. It's all grace. Jesus takes the burden off of us and reveals himself to us. And that gives us the freedom and the love and the gratitude to walk in obedience, to grow spiritually and in the knowledge of him. But he does that. We don't do that by being zealous and striving in our flesh. It's not how it is. It's all Jesus all the time. Ooh, I'm getting fired up right now. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Please go check out David Benjamin in Christ. Check out what he did in Ro uh, on in the book of Romans, uh, that Schaefer thing. Um, you'll see it's some of the it's the more recent stuff that he's um, released. Um, also, his uh, studies on Corinthians are really good. Um, again, just very freeing, as well as understanding understanding the freedom that we have in Christ and how we do it out of love and gratitude and we we keep our eyes focused on Christ the whole time not getting put back under the law hallelujah all right i love y'all god bless enjoy the rest of your day